all right so of course everyone wants this sword right now this is the one that everyone was saying oh yeah this one might work really really well with Chongyun. yeah you want to get this the first place you're gonna be is obviously during this statue there's only one statue in dragon spine so this is super easy to find but you're going to go to the middle to where there's this little hole and you're just gonna jump down there and then once you go down here you can see there's a little cave i'm pretty sure everyone has already found this it's just it's kind of confusing on what you have to do you're going to see this and at first you're not going to see this symbol here it's because i've already observed this but you're going to have to observe this and it's going to pop up the symbol but you have to collect eight of these tombstones or activate eight of these tombstones so i'm just slowly sl so i'm going to quickly show you guys exactly where they are because i've seen a lot of people kind of knowing the general direction but not exactly where to find them but yeah let's get right into it first one is that snow covered path so you're going to go ahead and just travel over here so once you teleport you're not gonna have to walk around just a little bit these are pretty close to the points that you teleport to though so it's not too bad i'm just gonna show you exactly where to go but yeah it's right up here so you don't have to go too far for this and then you're gonna see this one obviously you're gonna have to observe it <laughs> don't definitely make sure that you observe them before you leave but yeah that's the first one and don't forget the one that we you get in the cave counts as one of them so this is actually the second one all right so this next one you're gonna have to go to skyfrost snail this one is almost directly where you spawn in right here so go ahead and teleport there all right so for this next one this one is a little trickier because you do have to find your way out of here but you're going to want to go ahead and climb up, but not all the way to the top, because otherwise you're going to find yourself at a boss. Or not a boss, but an enemy that's kind of hard to beat. But yeah, you're going to make your way about halfway up here before you'll see a ledge that you can jump onto. This one right here, where there's enemies. And you're just going to jump across. And then up here, it's just basically just a straight line, and you'll see the little room that we have to go into now the room up here there is a p little puzzle thing that you have to do where you have to collect three treasures across the map that i have not made a video on but there are plenty of videos on that online and that's why i didn't make one but yeah this little area right here where you see this right here you're going to have to do three treasures to get this open and then once you get in there there will be a chest and there's another chest over here that i actually haven't picked up but yeah, you're going to observe this one, and that is the third one. So for this next one, you're going to want to teleport over to... That is definitely not what I wanted. You're going to want to teleport over to Starglow Cavern, this little next one next to it. You're going to want to jump off of here and stay close. Basically, just stay close to this mountain right here. As long as you're just curving around this mountain, you'll see it eventually because it's a huge puzzle. Like this right here, it is a... Again, I'm getting kind of tired of these puzzles. The puzzle is super easy. There is another little enemy that you have to fight, similar to the one that you had to fight in the last one that we just got. But yeah, those are annoying. But once you get into there, there's going to be this right here. You're going to hit it, of course, grab it, and then go over to this little thing so you can open up the door. And then once you get there, there's a little tombstone right there, and this will be the next one. For this next one, we're going to be going back to this cave once again i think this is the easier way to get there some people start from here but i think it's easier to just go from here if you don't know exactly where everything is because from here you basically just go up until you eventually see an enemy and once again at the top there it kind of teases you because there is a puzzle and a boss a, not boss a, but an enemy at the top but actually you don't have to do any of the puzzles for this this one we're literally just gonna grab it and move on thankfully we finally have one that doesn't require us to do a puzzle and whatever stupid enemy they can throw at us i don't know about you but i'm kind of tired of puzzles already in dragon spine after trying to get this stupid sword like i don't think it's worth it but i i'm hoping it is but yeah once we make it to the top here you're going to see this boss and then there's a little puzzle and like oh god here we go again but no we're just gonna get this tombstone over here and then we're going to leave i am not doing any combat we are just observing and leaving that is the next one all right so for this next one you're going to want to go ahead and teleport over here by Wormrest valley and then you're going to see this little broken bridge over here you're gonna jump across and it's pretty much straightforward you just keep on going up until you eventually see an 
huge enemy that you actually have to beat to observe it be just because they have it set to where you have to observe just because the way how they just because the way they have it set you have to kill any enemy enemy and not be in combat just to observe something so yeah you're go you are going to have to beat this enemy right here it's kind of annoying to beat but you know what it, it dies fast enough Alright, so once you beat it, you are going to... It does take a decent amount of time to beat this enemy if you have a lower level character. But after that, you're going to get the chest and go ahead and observe it. And then that will be the fourth one. For this next one, it's actually a little more annoying than all the other ones for me anyways. Because my Razor is only level 70. So, the part is, the puzzle is super easy. The puzzle actually even tells you what to do and exactly which way to go. But there are some enemies afterwards you have to beat to where you have to get two rune guards and one of the like huge ones that they put in. And But once you do get all of this done, you're going to drop down here. And then it's either on which side was it? It's this side. You'll drop down and you'll see a tombstone right here. And just go ahead and activate it and that will be that one. Oh, okay. Something just hit me. Alright, so for this last one, you're going to go ahead and sadly, yes, you do have to unlock the domain, which is a pretty lengthy quest. That one took me about 45 minutes to do, but yeah, you do have to unlock this. Once you do, teleport on top of the uh, domain, and the next one will be right down from the domain. So go ahead and observe that one, and then we're going to go ahead and head back to the beginning. Once you get back to where we started, we're going to go ahead and go back to where all the signs were at the beginning. And where we started all of this finally after i know this is a pretty lengthy thing to do especially with all of the puzzles and all stuff like that but yeah once you get in here there's gonna be a bunch of signs across here you're going to go ahead and click start on this and it will open up this door once you get in there there will be a chest up here but that doesn't give you the sword you're going to have to light all of these around the corners and then you're going to get a little cutscene, and it will show you the sword and then the sword will appear right here and then if you guys want to see exactly what the sword looks like for now, right now I have it on my Chongyun, I haven't upgraded or anything yet. I'm just trying it out. This is what it looks like. It does look pretty cool. And if you don't know what attacks do, I think mainly the first part is cool. That's a that's a bonus. But the main thing that I want with this for Chongyun is opponents affected by Cryo are dealt 200% attack damage. Can only occur once every 10 seconds. Chongyun's attacks keeps every enemy affected by cryo 24 7 so this is going to be crazy on chongyun especially once i get this artifact set i'm going to grind for that set but yeah 100 percent. this is one of the most exciting weapons for me just because i do love using chongyun when i did main him right now he's only level 50 but we're gonna get him up to 80 like we got my razor but yeah that's pretty much the whole video i hope you this helped you a lot because i sure had a huge problem when i first started to explore this and i was like bro what am i supposed to do because there's so many different things that you have to do but yeah hope you enjoyed the video peace